Hey Kobe's Coach Marina here. Um, we had a great day of classes today, so um, I'm super energized and really excited for um, our version of Murph on Memorial Day Monday. Um, as you guys know, um, Murph is typically a mile, followed by 100 pull-ups, 200 push-ups, and 300 air squats, all rounded out by a mile. Um, we are going to um, honor Michael Murphy's memory by um, doing as close to that workout as we can, given the current circumstances. So I think we've gotten really creative with how we're gonna do it. Um, and we just wanna walk you through some of the options. Before I forget, the things that you must bring tomorrow are water, a water bottle. We have a refill station here. We will have extra bottles, but if you come armed with your own bottle, that would be amazing. You need a yoga mat. No matter what scale you are doing on Monday, you will need a yoga mat. We have some here, but certainly not enough for everyone um, and we also encourage you to bring a towel like a sweat towel something that you can use and wipe your face because even though it's supposed to be 70 degrees and have a nice little breeze this morning it got super hot on the asphalt so we want you to be able to kind of keep yourself nice and cool and dry and maybe even use some of your water to kind of cool off your skin um, the other thing that we would say and I know Brian talked about this the other day is that um, this day is not about getting a PR this day is not about um, uh, you know, doing the movements exactly as prescribed. It's about community, it's about remembrance and being part of something bigger than you. And I just wanna reiterate that um, as you approach this workout and this day. So um, keep that in mind as we're moving and considering the scales and also know that you might not get the scale that you want, right? We're limited on equipment, we're limited what we can do outside. So please just be patient with us, be patient with each other and um, it'll be a great day. So, all right, so um, we're gonna run a mile. We're gonna stagger that mile run, um, probably on about 15 second increments, just to give people spacing in each heat. So our first heat will go off, um, it'll start warming up at nine, probably going off at 9.15. So they'll go off on the run, they're gonna come back and they'll be pre-assigned a station. Um, and we have a couple of examples shown um, of how the spacing could look. So you can see if I were to kind of map out where my human body would be, and you're at least 10 feet away and we have all of this space to play with right so we can we're gonna have a group over there we're gonna have a group over there on class B and class A will be on this half of the parking lot so plenty of space this is just an example of probably the tightest that you would ever get with someone all right so option one come on over we have rings hung on the side of the stairwells we have in class A, two um, sets of rings that we can utilize. In class B, we will have four, all right? So you'll take your rings, and this will be one person station. They will do, right? I would break up this workout in five, tens, and fifteens. So I would do my five ring rows, right? I don't know how many that is. Feels like five, right? I would go down, I would have a mat, my own mat, I would do my push ups and then my air squats, and I would go back. The other thing I would say is bring a counting implement. If you are doing 20 rounds of Cindy, you will probably lose track. Um, we do have some chalk here, but not enough for everyone. So um, if you want to count your mark marks, bring something, a piece of paper or your own poker chips or something else. Pennies, pennies from heaven. Great idea, coach. Second option is a J-hook pull-up. Um, what we are going to uh, ask of you is that you not do J-hook rows. These um, stacks, even with a 45, can be vulnerable if you're pulling on more of a horizontal plane. So if we're on a J-hook station, as you know, you measure out the height so that when sitting and fully extending, my hips are right behind the rig line and I'm pulling vertically for my pull-ups. Fully extending every single time. We're not doing half pulls. Secondly, again, if you were going to do a, I'm going to try to do this without. Mm. So when I pull, if I'm doing some kind of row, this comes off the ground. Even with 45s, it's a little bit vulnerable. Can you hear me? Yep. Um, even with 45s, it's a bit vulnerable. So we're going to ask, unless you can do a nice vertical pull, find a different scale. Speaking of different scales, our next scale is a barbell row which I personally love. 
We've been doing a lot of hinging um, in our at-home workouts, so we should be fully prepared for this. So we're gonna hinge over. I'm gonna bring that barbell up and down, and each rep counts as one of my pull-ups. We can do an unweighted bar. You can add weight to it. Um, this is your workout, but we're looking for full range of motion. And there we go. Barbell up. If barbell is not your fancy, come closer. We've got dumbbells and we can do the same thing. Hinge, pull, right? Keep those elbows nice and tight and up. So we've got a dumbbell option as well. Lastly, if you don't want to do a pull, we've got an up. So, um, oh, I forgot my ab mat over there. So we'll have ab mats for you and we can do sit-ups as our scale for our pull-ups. So lots of different options, lots of space to play with. Bring your towel, bring your water, bring your, what was my, yoga mat. your yoga mat and maybe some pennies to count your rounds because there's a lot of them. Um, and uh, it'll be a great day. So again, we're excited to see you. It'll be a great version um, and just a chance for us to get together. Remember, it's about the spirit of the day, not the workout necessarily that you do that day. So excited to see you. More to come on scales, more to come on how to partition and make uh, recommendations for athletes at different levels, cutting rounds, blah, blah, blah. Um, but thrilled to have you um, and thanks for listening.